we will be discussing cross extension reflex. It is a polysynaptic contralateral reflex. Here we have Daisy. She was walking around looking for her shoe and accidentally stepped on a tap. We have all ma somehow managed to step on a painful object at one point or another, but have we ever really understood what really goes on in our body? In Daisy's case, a painful stimulus is a tack. In a cross sensor reflex, the reflex involves a contralateral reflex arc. Because the motor response occurs on the side opposite the stimulus, opposed to an ipsilateral reflex arc which involves a response occurring on the same side as the stimulus. Because this action is contralateral, the painful stimulus causes Daisy to straighten her leg to her other leg to receive the, bo the body weight. The sensory neuron is stimulated. The sensory neuron is located in the dorsal root ganglia and it brings sensory information to the spinal cord. The ventral root contains the axons of the motor neurons that extend into the periphery to control somatic and visceral effectors. Sensory neurons synapse with excitatory neurons that are part of the withdrawal reflex. The excitatory neurons that are part of the withdrawal reflex stimulate motor neurons that innervate flexor muscles causing withdrawal of the limb from painful stimulus. Here we have the flexor stimulated. The anterior muscle would be the extensor inhibited. Branches of the sensory neurons also synapse with cytotory inner neurons that cross to the opposite side of the spinal cord as part of the cross extensor reflex. Here we see those neurons crossing over to the other side. The excitatory inner neurons that cross the spinal cord stimulate motor, inner, motor neurons supplying extensor muscles in the opposite limb, causing them to contract and support body weight during the withdrawal reflex. So Daisy's left leg will contract and strain to bear the weight of the whole body. This is the flexor inhibited muscle and the anterior one is the extensor um, stimulated. During this process, reverberation will continue to function until synaptic fatigue occurs. Although it seems like an easy process, cross-extension reflex involves many steps. 